Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss out our new videos. Today, we are going to talk about setting up an inbound email to trigger a flow in ServiceNow. Inbound email triggers are incredibly useful in automating your processes. They can automatically create tickets, send notifications, or initiate workflows based on the content of the email. So let's dive right in. Before I go further, I want to mention an important point that personal developer instance does not have inbound email feature enabled. So we will test the flow with test feature of flow designer for this demo. This is my personal developer instance. Flow designer is already opened in another tab. Let's create a flow first. Click on new and then click on flow. You need to provide the name of the flow, which will be inbound email demo. Copy the same in description and then click on submit. Flow is created. Now we need to define the trigger. So click on add a trigger. Now for inbound email flow, you need to look for inbound email option. So go at the bottom of the list and you will find inbound email. So select this option. Now once you select inbound email, you need to provide condition which will be used to trigger the flow. Now this condition shows the fields from email table and you can select the values mentioned in the email record which is created via inbound email like body, subject and many more fields. Let's say you want to create priority one incident if subject contains urgent keyword and assign that incident to problem solving team. In this case, select subject in condition. So I will select subject. In operator, I will select contains and in value, I will mention urgent keyword. And I will click on done. Now I have added the trigger successfully. Now we need to select an action which will be performed when flow is triggered on the basis of condition mentioned in the trigger. So click on action. So add an action. Here we have action. Now look for create task action as incident is a type of task. So we will look for create task. So we do have create task here. Select this create task. Now, once you will add this create task action, it will ask you to select the table. Now, this is for incident. We have to create the incident. So I will select incident here. Now, once you select the table, you need to provide the field values. So we have to set different field values for new incident, which we want to create. Now we will start with short description. So here I will mention short description that is the first field now you can populate the value of short description same as subject of the received email in order to do that you need to select the subject field of that email record in data pill picker so i will click on this trigger inbound email and here we have subject so i will click on subject next is description so I will look for description field and I can do the same this description should be populated with body of the email. So I will go to data pill picker. I will select body text. Now you cannot select body because if you will see here, you also have body. So for example, if I go directly to email record here, we have body. You cannot select body. The reason is because that contains HTML format, not plain text. Now, as we need to create P1 incident, 
we have to set urgency and impact so here i will mention urgency that will be high next is impact that is again high i will select the color maybe able tutor i will select any configuration item here i can select any configuration i want and as we wanted to assign this incident to problem solving group so i will just mention assignment group as problem solving so this is the name of the group that's it you are done now you can click on done so that means you have created the action now you can click on save and you can also activate so we will activate it so flow creation is done let's test this flow now as i mentioned earlier that this personal developer instance does not have inbound email feature enabled so what i will do i will create an email with the script so we will generate the inbound email so that this particular flow can be triggered let's try that for that i can go to the main tab here i will go to background script we are just doing little bit scripting so i will go to scripts background now here we will write a script to generate an email record in inbound email record in sys email table now how exactly we will do that so we will maybe mention create an inbound email we are starting with the comment so i will just mention where email gr equal to new glide record which is glide record and here i can put the name of the table which is sys email colon then i can just put email gr dot initialize initialize this is the api for initializing the record then we have email email gr dot subject now these are different fields so subject would be um, urgent email for inbound demo i will just put urgent email for inbound demo semicolon and then i will put email gr dot body equal to again in text and that is description email for inbound demo i will put semicolon and then i will put email gr dot type this is important because this is for inbound email so we have to put received this is the value of that choice received type and then i will do email gr dot insert which will insert a new email in this table now i will just do gs dot info here i will just mention created inbound email and i can just put the society which is email gr dot sys underscore id that's it i will create this email but before that let me go to the flow execution i will go to flow execution I don't have any execution that means nothing has been triggered yet and now i am going to click on run so you can see email got created successfully but we have to validate it by checking directly in the email table 
so I will go to emails yes email was created so you can see urgent email for inbound demo now if I go to the flow and if I refresh the execution you can see it is not triggering the flow the reason is because we created the email manually we have to process the email so I will go to the emails again I will open this record which says urgent and we have to reprocess this email you already have this UI action here so you click on reprocess email so this email is processed and now you go to your flow and just refresh this execution yep we can see that flow has been triggered and I can open this I think it's not it's still running we will see it if, if it is creating any new incident it has ran successfully I think flow reports are not available yet that's fine I will maybe go to executions again open this I think we can directly because I have to enable one property to see the uh, flow execution details so what I can do I can validate the incident so I will click on emails and if I go to incident here we have all incidents and yes we have one e incident created you can see which is assigned to problem solving group if I open this you can see it is with the same short description urgent email for inbound demo description is not populated because maybe we have not uh, we, we didn't pick the body directly from the email record that's the reason uh, maybe it's not uh, it's not populating description but that's fine overall our flow got executed successfully now how can you validate whether it's still running properly with the conditions mentioned in the flow trigger now in that case what we will do I will remove this urgent keyword from the email so I will go to email again I will open the same email record this one and I will just remove this I will save this and I will click on reprocess so I will click on reprocess and we will see if it got processed again or not let's try again go to here go to execution not at all you can see that flow is not triggering now the reason is because in condition in flow trigger condition we have mentioned that subject should contain urgent keyword and that's the reason it is not triggering the flow so just like this you can automate your workflow and save valuable time and effort with inbound email and flow designer if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content we will see you in the next video